I uh, flew to Brisbane a couple of weeks ago and uh, something really annoyed me and I want to share it with you now and it's uh, somewhat a winded story but I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Um, now, I think you'll agree as well because you're an intelligent group of people, right? Middle seat on the plane, shittest seat by far, yes? yes. It's fucking horrible, isn't it, right? You've got no room. You can sit next to the Olsen twins on either side and you still have no fucking room, hey? Like, it's horrible. And you know that little game you play with them, you know, the person next to you, like, I reckon here's what needs to happen and you can be the start, you can be the start of it, you can be the people that stand up tonight and embrace this belief. I reckon if you're eating your meal and you're sitting in the middle seat, you should get both the fucking armrests. Don't you reckon? What? You know, it should be included in the speech at the start, like the exits are over here, uh, the egg, the egg, the oxygen mask will fall down in case of emergency. And if you're eating your meal and you're sitting in the middle seat, you get both the fucking armrests, right? Because that, that little game you play with that person next to you, you know, talking to them like in there like that. Seriously, I'm sitting in the middle seat trying to eat my meal and I felt like a fucking raptor doing a Rubik's Cube. I'm like, Rear! I'm gonna level with you. I wrote that joke just so I could do that Raptor impersonation. 100% true. And here's the thing I think it should be mandatory, right? Every single day of our lives, we should be made to do a fucking Raptor impersonation, right? No matter where you are, right? Next time you're next in line for a bank, right? The guy's like, yep, next. <laughs> it's just a deposit, thanks, mate. Um, <laughs> Next time you're on Cleveland Street and those junkies want to wash your window and you don't even want them to, and I'm like, you got any change, mate? I'm like, just get out of the fucking car. <laughs> Sorry, mate, just got a note. Uh, <laughs> just do it. Well, I promise you, it's the one thing that you take away from this show. Just make sure that you do it once a day or just anywhere. Even if it's on the, on the way home from this gig tonight, right? And it's just you at the service station, right? With, you know that weird moment where it's you and the servo guy and no one else? Right? And you have to work out like whether A, he's gonna rob the joint, or B, he just is a massive stoner who wants the tip tams, right? Don't smile at him, right? Just nod. Walk in, do a lap of the chocolate aisle, and just raptor it the fuck out, right? <laughs> to a getaway car, right? That has other raptors in it, like, <laughs> Not the driver, all right? It's hard to drive. I'm like, can't do it. But um, promise me you'll do it. And send it to me, and I'll and I'll film them and get to get a mate to film and I'll try and show them somewhere. I um, I did some gigs in Brisbane recently, and uh, I, I asked the same thing. I asked the crowd, please send me your uh, Raptor videos or just show me or let me know you did a Raptor. And I got some emails back from the comedy club saying, hey, we came and saw a comedian on Saturday night. Uh, and on the way home, uh, he told us to do a Raptor impersonation. And uh, she let him know that we stopped at McDonald's and the fucking police were called. Uh, <laughs> so thanks a lot, dickhead. Uh, but here's the fucking thing, right? If you get cuffs on, perfect fucking high.